Man, what's go, what's go? We're here for more tournament coverage. Smoke on tour, 27 quarterfinals. Wait, not quarterfinals, sorry. Top 16, round one. Uh, ABR versus Santu. My boy ABR was playing, so you know, I figured I'd catch this one live. Uh, I predict ABR to, to win this battle. That's what I predicted. I thought he would win this 2-0. Um, just because I think he's flat out a better player than Santu. Santu brought uh, drag mag. Uh, yeah. He gets destroyed by Scarf Keldeo. Like, it's going to be horrible because it's not even Dragonite. It's Ments, which gets 2 KO'd by uh, Surf after Stealth Rock. Uh, ABR has to be smart with his Toad because um, the Magnus on Sunny Day. So you can't just throw that thing out. But ABR has a lot of good threats on his team. It's Band Knight, which is going to be nice. Uh, Starmie is going to be really, really nice. And Keldeo is going to be really, really nice too. Leads off with Toad. Uh, okay. I feel like Santu is just going to go for rocks or a thunder. Either or. Rocks. Yeah, good play. We're going to see a mag in here. For, or we're going to see mag come in immediately. Uh, but ABR, I know, is just going to throw out his Ferrothorn, bro. I know he loves those hazards. I feel like he's just going to throw this thing out in hopes of being able to put up his hazards um, and win from there. Let's see. Yup, so he puts up his rocks. Subs up here. Okay, this is going to get two kills, I think. Oh, what I wanted to say that I forgot to say. I'm going to start pinning the funniest comment on my videos because everybody in my comments be talking shit, man. There's so many roasts. So I'm going to just start pinning the funniest comment, the funniest roast, whatever the case may be. I'm going to just start pinning the comments because I think it's hilarious how much shit you guys be talking in the comments. God damn. I hope y'all subscribe to my channel the way you be talking. Crazy. I be getting roasts on every single vid, so I figured I'd just start pinning the funniest comment to give some incentive to, you know, be funnier. Because cause while some of the jokes hit, some of them are so whack <laughs> but we go we chillin we chillin so back to this game avr versus sentu uh i assume we're gonna see a charge beam here it could also be sub sunny day i haven't seen leftovers in a while on mag a lot of people be running choppel and stuff like that would it be sub sunny day or is it just sub charge beam i think it's just sub charge beam yeah it's just sub charge beam um so this is getting two kills now that's a fact um that's actually pretty tough for abr uh let's see Picking Magnezone is a good pick. ABR always uses Spikes. He always uses Ferrothorn. Um, and he uses Skarm a lot as well. But he uses Ferrothorn mainly, like over everything. And Magnezone is a great way to deal with that. Plus, uh, he has the ability to spin with his Drill on Toad and Dragonite. Uh, wait, it could even be Scarf Drill. Um, but I'm assuming it's like Scarf. One of these dragons is Scarf and not the Drill. But it could definitely be Scarf Drill. But yeah, he's charge beaming up to full. ABR is not getting up spikes. I don't really know why he's not getting up spikes. Um, but whatever. I just think he can afford to get him up at some point. If I'm Santu, I think Santu is what? HPIs for flash cannon, right? With this set, what else would you run? It's HPIs for flash cannon for sure. I think flash is the correct set. Oh, it's just HP fire. Well, that shit didn't matter. It died at plus three. It has to be flash, right? It must be flash cannon. There's no way you run such sub charge beam HP fire and then uh, no charge beam, nothing to hit grounds. That would make no sense because your last move could only be what? T-bolt, which doesn't make sense. Um, especially now with fire because fire electric coverage is whack. You'd want to have flash cannon. This definitely has flash. So it's going to kill Garchomp here. Um, I think it should have flash. If it doesn't have flash cannon, I'll be crazy disappointed. Yeah, okay, so it does that flash can. Yeah, because what else would it rock at, at on a sub 3 set? But that worked out really nicely for him. I think ABR is now going to have to go into Keldeo straight up and just go for a pump. Uh, in hopes of bringing it back. But it looks like Santu has a pretty good uh, positioning right now. And it's just because, like, Magnezone was a big threat. Like, Magnezone, this set was always going to get two kills. There was nothing he could have done to stop this thing from getting two kills if he had Pharaoh out. Man, drag mag is so lame. Everybody be spamming drag mag these days in black white. They only use drag mag and they only use Gothitelle, Cresselia, Nine Tails, Fortress, Zatu, Stall. Like it's black and white is whack right now. Back when I played Smoke on Tour, back in my day when Smoke on Tour was the best tournament ever. Now it's whack. But back in my day, you know, uh, 
black and white was so easy to win at because everyone would just bring standard and then they had no idea how to play so i'd smash all kids with sand but now they all evolved now they all know how to use the cheese like drag mag the no skill trap and click outrage and then got to tell which is again trap and then click moonlight with crest they all figured out the brainless text that invalidate 90 percent of teams such a sad reality we live in you know but it's okay when i return to smoke on tour it'll be over i'll come back through with the offense the nice mammal swines you know what i'm saying the dragon knights you know you know what i'm saying me and black white is a whole threat actually i'm one of the most unoriginal black white players i only love sand and i hate everything else he goes for surf and kills it i don't think that mattered um it smacked special attack in the rain that shouldn't matter at all knocks that thing out pretty easily um let me see what's santu about to do if i'm him i would just go into my scarfer whoever that is he could be fearing the possible bulky and that could stop him from wanting to bring in ladios but if santu goes into ladi here and takes the ice beam he's gonna get swept by hydro pump or surf like immediately because keld even takes the outrage uh so santu's play is what going into one of the scarf dragons or ladi if none of them are scarf i could even see ladi being scarf uh it seems like a pretty decent i actually like scarf ladi in black white i don't think it's bad at all i think it's pretty decent in fact it's good versus offense like that's not sand if you play a non-sand team it's great like if sand 2 has scarf lottie plus zone it destroys abr's team as we can see because there's no dragon resist as he cleared out uh ferrothorn sand 2's thinking about this long and hard probably trying to figure out what he wants to go into here like i said i predict him to either go into scarf ments lottie straight up because it takes every hit and can draco but sand 2 has to deal with the fact that keldeo is going to beat him if he does that so that's probably a losing play um what can he do he can go jirachi and thunder if he has it but i'm assuming he's energy ball or some shit i don't know maybe he is thunder you always run thunder i think i hope he's not like walled okay so he goes Utiladios is expected if i maybe all right just take the chip so my keld can win later on and starmie dies to an obvious specs draco but this isn't too bad for ABR because he can surf now, get the necessary chip, not chip, just kill that he needs uh, in this game. I think Keld lives outrage at 88% from Scarf. Uh, what's it called? From Scarf uh, Mens. I don't think it's DD Mens. I think it's Scarf. And then the drill is what? What the fuck is the drill done? Is that Scarf too? No way, right? Well, dr I mean, Chomp could very well not be Scarf. It could be DD as well. I, I haven't counted that out. But we'll see. I think Santu is going to sack who? Drill? I think he's sacking Drill. And then going into uh, Jirachi. Or would you sack this? I think you sack Drill. I don't know. I think you sack Drill. That shit makes a lot of sense to me. You sack one of the grounds. You can't sack uh, Mence because it's the water resist. You can't sack Mence. I think you sack Chomp if you sack anything. Looking back, actually. Actually, I don't know. You sack Chomp or Drill. You need to keep this, I believe. You need to keep this, I believe. Because um, it gets a free KO if Toad ever comes in. The other four can't. Oko, Toad. And they all die to Toad in response, assuming Toad has Ice Beam. Um, so, this is a pretty interesting endgame. Hold up. I'm really not sure who wins, which is like my favorite type of game when I can't tell who wins immediately because then you really got to think of all the possible options and everything. But yeah, Sansu has to figure out which kind of sack he wants to go for here. ABR is not making a double or anything. He's just clicking the water move. I'm very confident. Um, he's just going to go for Surf. He can go for Hydro, but he's going for Surf. I think. I don't think he's going to be afraid of missing. What's the play, ABR? What you finna do, bro? If I'm him... I just surf, right? I might even pump. Just to, well, even pumping doesn't even really make sense. It does kind of because it hits Jirachi. But okay, so he sacks the Latios. I feel like I would have kept it, but maybe he has another plan. And he kept the drill because he wants to spin. But I don't see, a, I don't foresee you spinning, like at all. Like I don't see you finding an opportunity to spin, or where spin will save you either. But we'll see. Because Hydra still two kills everybody. I guess with Stealth Rock and Spikes, it Oko's Chomp, but doesn't it already Oko Chomp? I feel like that shit already blasts Chomp out the game. You know what I'm saying? 
I feel like at 100% it dies to Hydro, but I could be wrong. I could calc it though. But he's not getting a chance to spin anyways, I think. But I'll, I'll calc the shit. I feel like Keld just kills it though. Because Keld is so strong. So strong, dude. Maybe it has a chance. Maybe it does like 95 min. 69. Let me put Rain up. Oh my god, it just dies. It just, oh, that's minus Spadef. Let me do Jolly. Yeah, I see 95 min. 94 to 110. 62.5 to KO. Yeah, he's gonna go for Thunder here. Yeah, has to sack Toad. I would have gone D Knight and E speeded. I think ABR loses now, for sure. Oh shit, he has Skull. He has Protect. That's pretty interesting. Okay, I hope he gets a Scald off here. Oh, that sucks. If he got the Scald off there, I think it would have been easier. Well, I think it's still. I think this thing still dies to Hydro. And I think it, like, it still comes down to hitting five Hydros in a row. Seriously, I think it comes down to hitting five Hydros in a row. Because check it. Ments. Because uh, you have to get the chip off on this for it to die to Surf. I think Chomp dies it to Surf. Let me see. Surf to 74 to 88. Rocks plus double spike. Spike is 16.67. Rock is 12 is 6.25 on Garchomp. You add those up, you get what? Roughly 23. 23. So 77. So you could go for the surf sweep. If ABR got the surf sweep there, I mean got the scald there, he probably won with surf. Uh straight up he probably won with surf. Uh from Keldeo. I forgot the scald off there. Um but now he might have to hydro everybody. So that's pretty interesting. He's gonna go Mens and he's gonna go D Knight knee speed, I think. That's the safest play if you ask me. Okay, no, he's actually just gonna go for the pump. Okay. I don't think you needed to do that though. I feel like it was safer to just E speed twice. You know? I put this thing in surf range and then you live an outrage from Mens, I'm quite sure. Yeah, see, outrage only does 67 to 80, so you live that quite easily. Which is why I don't agree going into this. Here. Because now you have to risk the Hydro Pump. Going into Banded D-Knight and clicking E-Speed would have put this thing in. Oh, but then he could have spun. True, 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 true. Then he could have spun. I didn't think about that. He could have definitely spun. And that would have gotten really dicey on its own. Because he would have sacked something, spun, and then Keld or one of the... Or Mence would have ended up taking on Keld, I think. Maybe, I don't know. But he would have hide to Hydro Pump anyway. So I understand going this route as well. Okay, well he hits it. Oh, but it lives. And now it's over, I think. Oh, Kel dodges the para, so if it crits Chomp, it can win. Or if it crits Mensa, it can win. I really didn't expect this thing, but that's why I figured he might need the E-speed damage, because I was like, what if Hydro doesn't even kill? And it doesn't, because this thing is definitely packing some bulk, which is obvious, because if you look at Sansu's team, he's very weak to something like Alakazam. Uh, if this Jirachi is all the way, like, you know, offensive, with no bulk or anything like that, you need some bulk on this set. But this set in general is so annoying. Shookaberry rocks with all these moves because Thunder just crits, not crits, sorry, it just paralyzes. It's high base power as well. It's just very annoying. You got Magnezone which traps all the steals, so your dragons, like, I hate Drag Mag so much. What an annoying team style to face. I mean, it's just offense on offense. Um, I really thought Scarf Keld would win, but um, looks like Sand 2 managed really well. I mean, if he got the Scald off, this shit would have been a different game, but Thunder is used to para, right? That's why people use Jirachi, right? Like, to get the hacks, and he did get the hacks, so can't really say anything about that. But it's looking bad for our hero ABR, man. Let's see if he can bring it back in the next two games. But I think this one is uh, pretty clearly finished. Unless, unless he crits the Mence and hits all his pumps. He has to hit all his pumps and crit Mence. That's the win con. Yeah, if he crits all his pumps and kills Mence, then he wins. So, wait, he can switch out and then Surf on Mence. Because Surf crit kills Mence and then Surf still kills Chomp in the other one. So technically the play is to kill this with Hydro, then go to D-Knight, and then Surf Sweep. Assuming you crit the Mence, that's the only play. Because Santu just goes Mence here. Yeah, this should probably takes like 65%. Oh, this is Intimidate, it's DD Mence? That's funny. So who was the Scarf? It really was Drill or Chomp. He's really running DD Mence, that's funny. Yeah, you switch here, yeah. See D claws with the dragon gem. It's crazy strats. <laughs> Alright, will my brother will my brother get the crit? Will he get the crit right here? Right here, right now. What if Santu chokes and goes into drill here? Or on he goes into chomp or some shit. He just throws out the extra 25 and loses. That'd be so funny. That'd be that'd be revolutionary. And 
but yeah there's a bunch of smoke on tour games today there's this, oh, he goes for surf no crit that's gonna be it it's pretty close game interesting game honestly i like that offense versus offense because they took their time as well like that game was 15 minutes long if i played that shit it would have been three minutes long but pretty good game uh for both of them i think both played fine only thing is i think abr shouldn't have hydro pumped at the end but yeah because he could have e-speeded and then gone for the hydro surf or the surf sweep and then i think he just won so i don't know why he did oh no because he could have gotten spun on but yeah i guess i don't know going for hydro i guess he had to go for the f idea that uh it killed yeah he had to play with the idea that hydro pump killed so i completely understand why he did it that sucks though let's move on to gen i believe abr is gonna pick gen 6 now that's what i'd expect because i've seen santu play ORS, and i don't think he's very good at it and abr is pretty confident but santu proved me wrong i mean that game wasn't like not to like sound like a hater but it's not like he did anything super impressive he trapped the ferrothor and he got his two kills and then he clicked the dragon you know like the, that game was very straightforward i don't think any player had to really use their mind that much and they, like that game was very straightforward which is fine sometimes that's all it takes and i'm not gonna say that abr had an unwinnable matchup either he could have certainly won with scarf Keld. I think he probably did if he got that scald off a of toad, but again, it was paralyzed, so you can't even expect that to happen. I mean, that's why he used thunder, right? So, Sansu up 1-0. ABR and ORS. All ABR uses is fat stuff in ORS, but I think he's going to be using a more uh, offensive team this time. Um, we got to talk about Sansu's Salamence, though. What is... What is Intimidate Dragon Claw Dragon Gem? What kind of what is that set? Intimidate Dragon Gem Dragon Claw. What? Why? What, like, what is that a comp? Not even Moxie. It's Dragon Gem Claw, which is also weird. Dragon Claw in general is piss weak, so I don't get it, man. But hey, shout out to Sin too. That's crazy tech. Crazy tech that ended up working. Where's game three, man? Should I go in the lobby to find out or game two? But yeah, ABR is now bringing a fat slow bro team. He has to show me his team. It's like offense with Metagross and shit. He picked Gen 7. I think he's bringing Rain. Yup. And the matchup for Rain here is actually pretty good. Uh, if it avoids T-Spikes. Mag wins this game pretty easily if you get any chip on Scizor. Uh, Greninja has a very great matchup. Uh, well, it's not very great. But if Spikes go up, it's very great. Uh, but ABR has to watch out for both Gren and Pex this battle. Perk can go crazy if ABR doesn't play dumb with it. Uh, I think it can do a great amount of work. I mean, Mew is probably able to take two waterfalls because it's Fizz Death, but that invites free Gren, which in turn uh, forces Santu to go into Pex, and you can take advantage of all that. Torn is also a really big threat because he has no flying resist whatsoever, uh, which is pretty surprising actually in a Torn meta to run a team like this. His team gets flattened by Torn too. If Santu plays Taunt Torn, he instantly loses, so I don't really understand his team. Um, because you can't go because clef isn't a good torn counter because they're bold clef nowadays and torn just taunt knock off confuse gg scissor is actually pretty decent versus rain i mean it's not decent versus rain but like it's 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 fine because it's able to switch into ferrothorn it's also able to check mag to some degree as well so i don't have too much of a problem with it what is this nasty plot taunts turn one on the ice beam okay so it is taunt torn that's gonna be nice this thing reveals to be ice beam so abr has a free switch into ferrothorn here if he wants it um i think at least i don't know if it's free you can go mag too he u-turns out it's taunt turn not even taunt knock taunt knock would have been better if you ask me um let's see let's see let's see Oh, you can't go Swamper here because then you risk taking a Toxic unless it's Substitute Swamper, which is the Lord Blunder tech, but I don't know if he has that. You can go Pex, but that's not... I mean, you can go Magirna, but that's not a good play either because you risk getting Scald Burn and you can't Oko the Pex in return. Ferrothorn is also an interesting play because he's just going to trade T-Spikes. It's like ABR has nothing to do with T-Spikes. I hate playing Pex with Rain. I hate it. It's so frustrating because the only things that can pressure this thing are both Magirna and Swamper, both of which get ruined by a burn. See, look, he's really going to go for it right here and he's going to get burned or toxic and it's going to suck. Uh, who goes for their landers here? Oh, wow, Santu switched out. Everyone went for Earthquake. That shit did nothing. It's a bold ass Mew. What's the item? What's the item on this, bro? We talking Z Supernova on this bitch? Rocks. Hold up. This is quite interesting. Is it, what is it, Cobra? U turns out, so now finally Gren gets to come in here and do something. Dude, he's getting up a spike. Just stay in an attack, Mew. Oh, it's probably only Ice Beam, though. You have U turn or something? What is, the, what is the move on this? I'm so surprised. I mean, the item on this, because it's not. 
this i've never seen a grand go for anything besides spikes here like you'll never click anything besides spikes here i'm certain but even then going for spikes is bad because t spikes destroys abr's team well it doesn't destroy but it hits per and uh grand which are the two uh he spikes is, he, is it cobra it could be Colbert, but if it's Colbert, what does it do in response? Okay, so he predicts the pecs here and goes into Ferrothorn because he wants to put up Stealth Rock over everything else. Yeah. Okay, he can't even be Spikes because the fucking Ferrothorn Spikes. Probably. Okay, that's pretty nice for him. Santu's getting greedy, letting all hazards go up just so he can go for the burn. Uh, assuming that Lander's Scarf is Defog, I don't like that play. Um... Because bringing in Pelipper forces Santu to never be able to bring in Landers, uh, which is a nice play. Roosts has to U turn out into. Is the rain done? How long has the rain been up? Yeah, this shit's been up for too many turns. It's about to wear off. Who do you turn into here? Is this Calm Mind? This shit's about to sweep itself. Okay, U turns out. He knocks off there. What is that? He knocks off the Life Orb. Wait, that was a Life Orb Moonblast? It did 46 with. Oh, then he goes for thunder. What? How did that work? How did that work? How did ABR make those god reads? How did ABR do it? What kind of god plays were those? Why did he moonblast if he had thunder? Bro, what are you doing? How is he going to predict thunder? You should have taken your kill, bro. Either way, that was a pretty good... Uh, that was pretty good for Santu, all things considered. Perth's now weakened. Pelipper dies to everything. And the scissor sweep is looking nicer, honestly. Gets the flinch there. A little waterfall action. Not a big, not that big of luck. Because waterfall's flinch is what? 20%? What is that shit? It's 20%, yeah. Okay, well, you just go Gren here. Yeah. And now Dark Pulse kills something. Because you're going to flinch the pecs. This shit is over. Yeah, just flinch it and win ABR. Oh, that's tough. He's going to go for it here. Is he going to get it? Nope. Now you gotta switch out. Now it's bad. If he flinched it though on that one turn, it was GG. So I can understand going for it there. That makes sense. Um. But yeah. Clef's really low. Sizz is not low, but the hazards are up, meaning gear can still do it. Uh, because plus one, plus two t boss are doing a lot. Who's, who's dark pulsing again on the lander's double? Oh, I better doesn't give a fuck. Oh. Santu, you crazy for going for Scald that turn. You deserve to get flinched. You lucky, lucky. <laughs> you getting out of this alive, Santu. Oh, he really got out of this alive. Okay, okay. Damn, he really dodged all those flinches. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and now Gren's dead. Yeah, okay. So he sags Gren. He got really impatient. I don't really get it. Um, I mean, I guess he was... Damn. I don't understand why he kept dark posting, though. This is like a misplay on all fronts. Oh shit, if he scalded. I think it's like. Why did. Yeah, ABR should have switched out this turn. This one right here when he got to 71. This Dark Pulse made no sense. Now, here even, he's at 85, so it even makes less sense. I don't understand this shit. Now, this thing recovers too, which is horrible. I think ABR can still win though, just because Pert owns Santu, especially here. Because uh, you can just go hard to Pert if you really want to, but maybe unnecessary. But yeah, Pert owns Santu, and so does Gear. Should he, uh... Sizz could beat the Gear, but, like, Gear can also beat the Sizz. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure I didn't say the same thing twice. But yeah, they can both beat each other. It just depends on sets. Um, I've had my Gear beat Scizors and been and had my scissors beat gears man it just depends on what his gear is i'm assuming his gear is offensive max special attack z move because who else could run a z move on abr's team it's not torn i don't think and it's not grand it's specs grand so i'm thinking it's z gear hopefully it's just z electrum or it's probably z flash cannon though because the team uh because this is like the classic rain and that team usually runs trick room calm mind thunderbolt flash cannon on gear but i think i have a play here to make you can just go into like whoever I don't know what you're going to hear. We also got to watch out for Santu's fair, uh, Santu's grand. That thing could end up being a problem if Ferrothorn's able to get weakened, but it's going to be hard to weaken Ferrothorn regardless. I think the biggest things ABR has to look out for right now are Pex and Scizor. Ferrothorn comes in here on what? Moonblast? Yeah. You got that gyro on you, homie? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. 
You gonna pivot into uh, Swamper here? Send it to if you a big boss, you go for uh Oh dude, that was such an obvious per shampoo shampoo. I was gonna say shampoo. Santu, come on bro, that was easy. You should have moved blessed again if you were a real boss. If you were a real player. It's okay, free waterfall here. Santu goes for toxic on the obvious waterfall. Who who going for that play with me? What's ABR's last move? Superpower? He should have been sub swamper. He could have won. He could have six out if he was sub swamper. Damn. Let me see, let me see. Who waterfall here, man? Is this Shuckleberry? No way, right? I would sub here, assuming it is sub. Using the Lord Blunder tech. Oh, he actually waterfalled. ABR is fire. Hold up. Hold up, that's a good waterfall. Wait, the game is back in his control. Hold up. Shit looking kind of good all of a sudden for my boy. Earthquake kills everybody. Yeah, dude. The Swamper matchup was always kind of crazy. Even with uh, him throwing out his grant. The perk can still do it. That was a great waterfall, though. But the Scizor is starting to look dangerous, man. Greninja is down to plus 2 BP range. The Scizor is looking really dangerous. Plus, this thing is at minus 1. Pelipper is at no HP whatsoever. Torn can't beat Sizz unless it has good hacks. I don't agree with bringing in Grant here. I would have gone into Scizor and roosted on the waterfall flinch attempt. That's what I would have done. But then again, if you actually get flinched, you lose. So, no, because I actually think you live two waterfalls. So maybe I'm wrong. Either way, I don't get it. So let's move on. He brings in this. What's it gonna go for? Hydro Pump? What if this is Superpower Sentu? What if you just threw out your Greninja to Superpower? It's not gonna be Superpower. But what if it is? I'll be running Superpower. What is his other moves then? Ice Punch or what else? It's not Sub, is it? It could be Sub. What's this Gren? You guys think this Gren's not Scarf because the Lando Scarf? I think it's Ash Gren. Like, for show. I think it's for show Ash Gren. What else would it be on this team, right? Because the Landers has to be Scarf, unless it's like a random Z Lando, which I'm not buying. Could be a random Z Gren as well. But if it's Z Gren, it's uh, still not too threatening all around. Let's see though, let's see. What's he thinking about right now? What are we thinking about? What's this man thinking about? I like both of these games so far. Both of these games have actually been pretty decent. Like the first game was very straightforward, but it was still decent. And this game is also pretty cool. I'm enjoying it so far. Let's see what happens. Bow, bow. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, they're taking the time, but I'd rather they take the time than just throw away the game. You know, <laughs> that would be tough. Maybe I'm probably thinking, should I go into Ferrothorn or not? But I think you really do need to go into Ferrothorn. As he gets up a spike. Wow. That was a pretty crazy spike. I don't know. I mean, it kind of helps because it helps Ferrothorn. No, sorry. It helps Scizor. I just didn't expect him to go for it there. This is, is this Gyro? This shit about to kill somebody. He goes into Mew. Mambo Losco to get the recovery. Gets whipped for 28. Greninja comes back in here as he doubles into Pex. ABR's gonna go for what? A final flinch? Or what? If I'm sent too, I just scald, right? Or do you recover? I'm not sure what the right play is actually. Because I'm afraid of the Swamper coming in for free. That's why I would have like scalded. But then maybe you could lose. But anyway, sack the clef. Gren comes right back in. Right? What else is there to do? I mean, you can go Mew. And then Roost. Yeah, you can go uh, Mew and then Roost. But then ABR can go Hard Torn, Defog, etc. Move from there. Yeah, because the play right here is Hard Torn and Defog, I think. That's what I would do. I think. I don't know what else you'd do in this certain situation. Unless you want to go to your Magirna and go for the setup. But you can also just remove the hazards first. I think I have the right play with going into Torn and Defog. But maybe he wants to keep the Torn because it has Taunt. I don't know. But I don't really see a problem with going Torn here and Defogging. That's the play I would make. Then again, Rocks will immediately go back up because it's Mew uh, with Rocks. So maybe that's one of his concerns. But the Spike is really annoying if you ask me. That's why I would go Torn here on the obvious Roost. And then Defog because you live as we have seen already. It's able to eat that hit up pretty easily. Hmm. 
god this is such an exciting battle Okay, guys, let's see. So, looks like ABR is going for it now. I would not be surprised if this Mew was maybe, what, Earth Power? Seems maybe excessive uh, because he has three things that are able to deal with Tran and perhaps even Focus Blast on the Clef, but it's more likely to be Fire Blast, right? I don't know. Okay, oh my god, it's Z, Z Gigavolt. Wait, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. This man, I see, I figured he could be a ground move, but I didn't think the Z, I knew it was Z, but like, I didn't know it was Z, but I, the idea was, because I was saying it could have been Z earlier, but it was actually Z ground. ABR got smashed. Let me see what the lobby thought about that. Motherfuckers going crazy in the lobby right now. They're talking in all caps. Yo, he really had the Z ground. That's so funny. That's so funny. That's hilarious. That's why I would have gone into Torn, man. Should've gone to Torn that turn. Going to going to Mag on Mew was bad because we hadn't seen the last move. The item was not revealed and it could have very well been Earthquake or Earth Power. I don't understand. Either way, Pelipper is actually pretty good versus Sin too. Uh, it actually does a pretty decent amount of work as we can see. Um, he's unable to kill it and then it's gonna burn everybody. So yeah, so it's not even over because Pelipper can still win, Swampert can still win, but the game is a lot more dangerous all of a sudden. Burns the thing, so that's one step in the right direction for him. Shout out my man Origami Beast. That's so crazy though. That it was Z Tech Rage. And this shit just got Oko. That shit was hilarious. The crit sucks. Uh doesn't suck that much. I mean. I think he has to defog and then flinch this thing with Pert. I don't get it. That's like might be the only play. I really think he messed up when he sacked his Greninja though. To the to the pecs. Like I don't understand staying in and doing all that stuff. Because, like, look, at the worst, the only thing that can come in on Ferrothorn is the Clef, which was knocked off. Clef is an issue, but you can deal with Clef, especially because you have gear under rain, too. So as long as no paralysis, you should be good. And it has flash cannons. On the off chance Santu stays in, you can even force a situation where you kill it. And going for Thunder Para is not a way to counter Magirin. I don't think he would have even gone that route. So I think that sacking the Greninja was the biggest misplay. And then he also sacked his gear. Uh, we can say that we didn't expect the Z ground, but the Mew's item was unrevealed and also... Ice Beam ground coverage is a pretty common Mew. Like, that's like the one that is used. And it isn't Wisp from what we've seen. Otherwise, he would have been way more generous with throwing out his Wisps if he had it. So it was pretty obvious he was another attack. Also, no other Pokemon on the team is running a Z move. Assuming Gren's not Z move, but we can't assume that. Goes for Ice Beam here. Gets a little bit of chip. Um, who taunts? Who taunts? Who taunt right here? Who taunt right here? I don't taunt right here. He's ice beaming, dude. Just you turn into Pert and kill it with Waterfall. Trust me, that's the right play. Man, how am I so good? Okay, so now we're gonna trade rocks. Um, spikes. Actually, this is not too bad for our hero. Okay, now it's, it's ABR, has to make, uh, ABR has to make a hard read because if Scizor comes in, it's GG. So he has to make a hard read and switch into Pelipper. He has to make a hard read. Well, he loses to Water Shuriken uh, at the range his Pert's at as well. So I'm a little unsure. Because don't you have to go Pelipper here? Because Scizor is coming in this turn. Oh, he just Ice Beams. Either way, he had to make that play on that turn. He had to make that play on that turn. Hmm. Is it really sub Pert? I mean, I assume it's sub Pert. Because it's not super power with a team like this. Sags Grand. So he can defog later on, perhaps. Who comes in? The big dog. The big dog. Okay, so technically, I can win if he, like, flinches everything. It's not a L. Because you flinch this and kill it. Right? Or, this needs a flinch to die in the first place. But then he's going to be putting BP range. So, this thing takes the hit. Earth power. So it was Z Earth power. Man, I'm so good. Predicted the Mew with ease. I can't believe it's Z Earth power though. What a crackhead set. It worked out though. Bullet punch sweeps now though. Like it's over. Like it actually just sweeps. Torn dies. Pelly dies. Pert dies.
and you water shuriken here either way and then you still win because you can just sack you should just stay in here and sack this greninja like there's no reason to keep the greninja because the ferrothorn is 100 percent to attack i think i think it's knock pharaoh it's definitely knock pharaoh this is done Yeah, it's to attack Pharaoh. Sand 2 cannot lose. You just click Water Shuriken. Because Scizor will just come in on this and win if he sacks it. Because again, this is to attack. I'm almost positive. Um, there's no way this is dual hazard power with Leech Seed. That's not a set at all. It's for sure a knockoff for Gyro because he wants to be able to threaten stuff. Sand 2 realizes that as well. Um, spam stays into Spam Shuriken. Yeah, it's done. Holy shit. So, so, so like I said, Scizor was a potential threat. I again, I don't know why he sacked his uh his uh Greninja in a desperation attempt to take out the uh Pex. That was a really awful misplay, I think. Extremely impatient, pretty uncharacteristic of ABR, I think. But hey, Santu, I gotta give it up to him because he played both of these games pretty well. First game, like I said, was very straightforward. I don't think anyone had to really move too many muscles that game. Just a couple of micro turns that ended up working better for Santu. But this game, he commanded pretty well. Um, like, because if you look at the matchup, he could have lost a gear and he could have lost a Swamper, but he played around it pretty nicely. Uh, and he put himself in the position. He didn't even send out Scizor either until the win. I remember I was saying I would go into Scizor and roost on the minus one perp, but he didn't even want to risk that. So I can give him props for the way he played this game. He kind of impressed me. I wasn't really sure what to expect with Santu because in SPL, I think he played very mediocre uh, and even bad in some games. But he definitely bossed up here and he played a much more impressive game from what I can see. Um, he had a lot more control of this game. Like he didn't misplay too much. And I'm not going to say he got super lucky because his pecs didn't get flinched. Maybe you can say that's luck because his pecs didn't get flinched, which is true. You'd think after a while it would flinch. But either way, ABR made a misplay. Uh, just trying to sack his, uh, or like attempting to muscle past pecs with Greninja that couldn't even 3 KO. Like that was a misplay on all fronts. So he's going to go into Torn here, but it's not going to be enough. This thing still dies, unless two hits. Fair throw him back in. I understand. Yeah, but it's done, dude. I think he understands it's done. Yeah, it's super obvious that this was two attack as well. Like, but that's it. Yeah, so he's just trying now, but it's over. Santu, the only way Santu can lose is if he like somehow brings in Scissor on a torn double, doesn't kill a BP, dies to crit hurricane, confusion. That's it. Other than that, it's completely over. And then we all have recognized that at this point because water shirt can sweeps regardless like abr has to just get tired of it and just kill this at some point because it's over santu is really good at only getting two hits though so like he literally only gets two hits what is this three times two hits can we get a fiber right here just finish this game up two hits again very nice this is just literally recovering it all with hp with leftovers if not recovering even more santu get the five hit already dude this is so okay but yeah Overall, looking at this game, uh, even matchup. I mean, Pex is tough for Rain, but I'd say this was an even matchup regardless because Pert and Bagirna potentially had the ability to destroy Santu's team. So I would consider this a very even matchup. Uh, even last game was kind of similar with... I can't believe ABR brought Rain twice. That's pretty funny. I love Rain. He gets five hits there, but that should have no damage. This is so painful to watch. But he really can't do anything besides click Water Shuriken. Like, that's his only play. He's about to struggle, dude. Seriously, this thing's about to struggle. This is so funny. The only way ABR can win this is if he... Well, first, this has to struggle and kill itself, which it's going to end up doing this game. Probably. At the rate this is looking at, this is going to end up having to struggle and kill itself because he's just going to keep getting, like, two hits and lose. I don't know what ABR is thinking about, but, bro, you got to... You got to get a move on. three hits we're making progress can you guys click faster why does it take 30 seconds on turn 65 but then on turn 64 it was immediate and now on turn 66 we're taking another long ass time to decide i'm not quite understanding what's going on here but i will try to understand regardless why this is taking as long as it is what happened were the last 10 turns where you guys made the same plays too confusing is 66 the turn okay so water shuriken again three four four ooh, five okay okay some good ship some good ship finally getting closer to killing this fair turn oh nope nope one step forward two steps back you know what it is or two steps forward one step back 
Oh, four hits, four hits. Okay, okay, okay. Potential. This is the most painful thing I've ever seen. Greninja attempting to KO Ferrothorn with the Water Shuriken. Okay, finally, ABR is like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna kill it. And he does. But it doesn't matter at this point. Because Scizor has won. Yeah. That's GG. Yup. Toro Gang. <laughs> what is his name? That's funny. Yeah, but it's over, man. This thing is too bulky. Torn can't live at 58. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. And then Pex kills Torn anyway. Because he's gonna sack Pert and then go back into his... Just SD again, Santu. If you were a real sauce boss, you SD again. If you were a real boss, you SD again. That's not everything. Just kidding. Don't do it. Santu, you'll lose the whole tournament if you make that play. <laughs> and get confused right here. Oh, see, I knew Santu wasn't dripping like that. Nah, nah. But good win to Santu. He played this very uh, well. I think ABR messed up this game. That's all I can say. Uh, I understand why he made the plays he did, but I think he went around them really incorrectly. At least sacking the grand was really bad. But definitely the upset pick. I don't think anyone expected, or very few people expected Santu to be ABR. So that's a dark horse pick. And I only got credits to him for the way he played these two games. Nothing to complain about. And yeah, that was honestly a pretty decent series. 2-0, uh, but maybe closer than it looked. So hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys with the next series in the following days. Peace.